So let's talk spyware. When you hear spyware, what comes to your mind? You hear of spy and then you hear of where. Well, basically, it's a software that is intended to spy on you and it could get some of your data and some of the details, some of what you do, and then either distributes it or sends it back to a third party or someone who sends the spyware or program the spyware in the first place. You can just go ahead and search YouTube for Pegasus and then you'll see how extreme this particular spyware is and then you'll see everything that the spyware does. So spyware could basically be distributed in three ways, either by the mobile applications you download or the files you download from the internet or on your browser cookies so for those that don't know if you think that a spyware is something noticeable that perhaps you when you're using your phone you just notice that your phone screen is moving on its own that you have a spyware no spyware does not work that way or it might feel like your camera will just get turned on all of a sudden and then they'll be able to see you no that's not how spyware works most times spyware are always unnoticeable you never notice that you have a spyware on your mobile device you can be using a mobile device for two years three years and you wouldn't know that you have spyware on it so what spyware does is that it stays on the mobile device it's gathered all the possible information it can gather credit card details banking information keystrokes and everything it gets every information it wants and then it just keeps sending it to um, the server it keeps sending it to the person that programmed it or the people that um, sent or installed the spyware on your mobile device or on the platform that you downloaded onto your device either a mobile application or a file and so they have all these details or all this data and then either sell it out or use it when they really need to use it so there are three ways a spyware works first of all it infiltrates the device or the mobile device or the laptop or the computer but now i just want to restrict us to i want to restrict this conversation to a mobile device because most people are using mobile devices like their phones their tabs and all and these are the likely places that you find spywares so for those using mobile phones the way spyware works is it firstly infiltrates the device by maybe you downloading some sort of application or some sort of file or you are browsing a website that has been infected then you get the spyware infiltrating your device second stage is it starts to capture data so it captures data like your credit card information your keystrokes your passwords whatever you type it gradually gets all those information so most times after getting those information they don't act on those information taken until when it is needed by whoever installed that particular spyware and the last one is it sends the stolen data so all this data that is stolen after the infiltration and the information guarding or the, the guarding of the data then it sends the data to the server or the people it wants to send it to whether third party advertising platforms or or malicious people or wherever it is it just sends the data so those are like the three major st steps or stages of how a spyware operates so i've said how we get spywares by downloading applications there are lots of applications that we download from the google play store or from the ios store i guess that's what it's called or app store there are some apps that are not safe to download i know some people might have thought that any app that they see on google play store is legitimate or is safe to use but this is not the case i've made several videos on this channel i'll link them in the description you can go ahead and watch those videos it's not all app that you see on the play store that are safe especially those ones that are, that are free applications so some of those free applications, some of those financial applications, some of these applications are acting as spyware. So when you download these applications and then you give them some permissions, you give them permissions to camera, you give them permissions to your audio and some of these things, they act as spyware. So there are some apps that really don't need to have some access to some of the things on your phone. For example, a calculator app does not need access to your camera or your audio. Also a bank application, your bank mobile application does not need access to your camera or your audio. So once you see that some of these applications that does not require your camera or your audio or some of these other permissions, once you see that they are requesting for permissions before you can use the application, then you need to know that there is something fishy about the application that you are getting on your device. So Google removed a lot of spyware applications from their Play Store as of 2021. They did a total cleansing of spyware applications. So even to now, there are still new applications that are getting on the platform. Some of the problems caused by spyware, especially when you have a spyware on your mobile device, is that first of all, it causes data theft and then impersonation. When I mean impersonation, I mean identity fraud. When it's possible, they can get all your details, your address, your name, your phone number, your email, and they can use it to register on any platform because they have your details. So once they have 
all your details they could basically impersonate you they have your picture and every and every other detail about you what you like your likes and your dislikes so it's very easy for someone to stand stand as you in a particular platform or when registering for something so this is just one way that a spyware could harm you and then the second way is that it could damage your device there are some spywares are not properly crafted and then you see them utilizing the resources of your mobile phone either your battery your your ram space and so many other things and then you it depletes the the resources of your mobile phone or your device depending on the device that is affected so to protect yourself from spyware what you should do is you avoid downloading apps that you don't know about some apps you don't need to download it's not all apps you go ahead and download for, for example there are some people that download um, instagram like automatic likes instagram followers and some of these cheat applications or maybe you are trying to download a mod for a particular game or something like that some of these things have spywares embedded in them some of these free vpns free applications imagine when you want to download the vpn thinking that you are downloading the vpn to um, keep your privacy but yet when you are downloading the vpn it's not going it's just going to be at your own detriment because you are downloading a spyware that will monitor you and then do the opposite of keeping you safe and keeping you anonymous online then also we need to be cautious about the websites you visit there are some websites you should not give access to install any form of cookies on your mobile phone or on your browser also avoid websites that allow you to download pirated movies or videos or whatever it is for example i know there are lots of websites that people go ahead to download illegitimate movies from or series or music albums or some of this other stuff some of these websites leave their websites or leave some plugins on their websites unupdated and then they could be vulnerable to malware malware could be injected in those websites as someone that has done cyber security there are ways you can inject malware into a particular website so once you can scan the website see some vulnerabilities in the website then you can infect that website if the owners of the website don't know that the website is infected they can just leave it that way and then when the users are coming to download or what do whatever they want to do they get infected by those malware on the website so you need to be cautious of whatever websites you visit and whatever you download from those websites don't give any website permission to even send you notifications because sometimes even notifications um, sent by those websites could be acting as a spyware on your mobile device it is also very important to keep all your applications all your mobile applications up to date because the reason why some of these applications have updates maybe um, weekly updates monthly updates periodic updates is because some of them are trying to improve their ui ux that's their user experience the way their website looks and you know, they are trying to upgrade it to make it look better and for users to have a great or better experience using the particular application but on the other hand some of them are patching some vulnerabilities that have been found in their, their application but you might not know they wouldn't really tell you they're trying to patch some vulnerabilities they are, there's what they call zero day vulnerabilities for example if i find a vulnerability in an application i would report to the particular to the company or the owner of the application that i have found a vulnerability in their website and what they would do is that they would go back to the they would go to the back end and then try to patch these vulnerabilities to avoid it being exploited by cyber criminals and and all this other stuff so there are some applications that if they are not well upgraded or if they are not updated they could have spyware or they could act as spyware and this could affect you in the long run so finally for those that have money you can go ahead and purchase an antivirus solution you could purchase uh, if you could get a paid antivirus solution from your Play Store or your App Store, wherever, whatever phone you are using, if you are using iOS or if you are using Android, go ahead and download a, an antivirus solution. The free versions of some of these antivirus solutions don't keep you safe because some of them don't give you the necessary and the most important things for you to be safe until you upgrade to the paid version. So if you are getting a free version, except maybe you just want to see the feel of that of that particular antivirus solution or see how it look like looks like and see uh the and just navigate but if you think using a free antivirus solution would um help you in any way i don't think it really helps so you need to get the paid version have a subscription i think subscription plan is usually cheaper than a netflix subscription plan but most people don't know most people have netflix um applications most people have netflix subscriptions and other movie subscriptions but most people don't have subscriptions for 
antiviral solutions. I wouldn't really blame them because some of these antiviral solutions, they have really, really ridiculous prices for their subscription to use their platforms. But if you don't have money to get all those things, it is understandable. You just need to know how to be safe on your own, update your apps and do the other things which I've stated or which I mentioned first in this video. That was why I really mentioned antivirus last because that one is dependent on, on if you have money. It just automates the, post, the process for you. There are some antivirus that helps you to update your apps. It helps you to check if there's spyware, it reports any latest spyware apps or any app that you download on your phone. The antivirus on your phone scans it and tells you that this app has been flagged by Google or by this place, by this um, your app store as malicious. So you should uninstall the app and all. So it just helps you automate the whole process. But if you don't have money to do that, you don't need to beat yourself up about it. Just go ahead and follow the things I've said. So thank you for watching. Go ahead and leave a like for this video and subscribe to this channel. I would love to hear your comments. What do you think about this? Do you currently use any antiviral solution? Um, did you have you heard of Pegasus before? Do you know what it does? What is this video which you can see on your screen as it will help you to stay safe online? Thank you.